All right, guys. Uh, my last video was kind of like uh, I did two videos with you know making noise, which I always do, uh, and then I did the last video in clean uh, with this awesome, awesome. This guitar is spoiling me. It really is. Uh, and uh, the seven string Holcomb guitar over there is almost paid off. It hopefully this month will be paid off, and then it's just this one. So it's once this guitar is paid off, then <laughs> you know. Uh, then it's just a matter of paying off the drum kit and uh, I'm out of debt, right? Um, I, I need another one of these guitars in standard tuning just to have the standard tuning. But it's like the neck on this thing is just, guys, there's guitars in the five to $10,000 range that do not have a neck as smooth as this. Uh, you cannot feel the binding at all. Like PRS really knocked it out of the park, especially at the price range if you can get this model because it's about $200 cheaper than the newer model. And this is the more aggressive of the two uh, with the Alpha and Omegas. I haven't tried the new one, but I, I love the look of the new one. But I, I love this one too. But like this kind of like one of those guitars. If this is the only guitar I ever owned, it, like you need not want like mm -hmm. ebony fingerboards. If anybody that plays ebony fingerboards knows what I'm talking. There's just something special about it. Not so much just the sound, it's the feel. Like it's so smooth. You know, it's just like it just whatever. Uh, but uh, I'm really the the 20 inch. Now that I've had this guitar a little over a year, the 20 inch fretboard is really what is making me question all my other guitars. Not that I'm gonna get rid of all my other guitars. I love them, especially the Flying V and all that. And my SG's 61 reissue is my um, you know, favorite guitar of all time. Whether it's the best guitar or not is not the issue. It's just my favorite. Uh, but I wish it had the 20 inch radius. I wish all my guitars had the 20 inch radius. Uh, there's only three guitars here that I have. The Holcomb guitar, the, eight, the LTD 8-string and this one that have the 20-inch radius, but it's like if I want to buy another guitar, this is what I'm. This is my benchmark now. It's like, oh, <laughs> don't spoil me like that. It makes it hard. But then it saves you a lot of money because nothing lives up to it, right? So I'm not saying it's the best guitar in the world, but it's so good for the money. The bridge, the... The only thing that might get that's going to get people is the uh, the, the hot pickups. Like a lot of guys playing through a hot rod, they're like you really got to let that thing really warm up before it could tolerate this thing. If not, it's going to sound really harsh. Uh, but on cleans, that's as clean as clean can get, right? Why do I mean the coil split? So if I take away the coil split, okay, eight thousand uh, eight thousand uh, ohms uh, of pickup. Been trying to break that kind of bluesy kind of you know that you know that's I like it don't get me wrong but I've been doing it for years I'm trying to get neoclassical but like how do you get neoclassical in this tuning? planet when you're in a different tuning and um, I know not everybody can afford you know a ton of guitars and stuff like that and guys I'm not rich I, I'm just irresponsible uh, I told a joke yesterday it was a really good one it was like have you, did you hear the one about the responsible musician neither did I <laughs> yeah. and uh, like 
I'm not irresponsibly in debt for these guitars, but I'm 50 years old and I can't afford a Corvette for my midlife crisis. So I thought, I'll just buy some really cool guitars. Man, am I ever glad I did. It's like, you can't get the price when you have some very cool stuff like this. Because it just draws out the creativity even. There's a hit song there. Polyphia, whatever kind of thing. But yeah, try try a different tuning. So this is a really cool one. Uh, yeah, okay, that wraps up. So hopefully there's not too many. Uh, my, my videos tend to say, uh, get split up, so there'll be a part one, part two if not. But I'll I'll go through the tuning in the next uh, the next video.